See, that's a bit more chilled. The the fashion is not quite so extreme as that. Is this just some sort of fantasy world? We are recording, it seems. Good. How's it going, everyone? Um, this is exciting, isn't it? Getting back to the geography stuff. Oh, yes. Get in. Uh, and it's back, not quite with GeoGuessr just yet. I've had a kind of unannounced break from GeoGuessr, really, haven't I? And it will return, um, but not just yet. The break is going to continue for a little while. Coming up is another adventure series, uh, a two-part Black Country mission, which will not disappoint for you uh, kind of mischievous adventure lovers. That should be done uh, late March. That should be released, uh, so not that long. I'm going to keep treating you to Geo Detectives, uh, as you can see here. But as some of you may have noticed, we have an interesting new folder within our Geo Detective folder, and it's called Specials. And the reason is. I am going to continue doing the regular Geo Detectives, but what I'm going to start doing is trying to successfully identify the location of something a bit different. Now you can probably already see this, so I'm going to click on it. This is a painting sent in by Raphael, and I guess I am semi looking for this sort of thing, but please don't bombard me unless it meets the following criteria. It's got to be of significance. There's got to have meaning behind it. Okay, so in this case, this is Raphael's great aunt's painting, which she's had hung up on her wall for decades, right? Presuming she's pretty damn old. Um, and she would love to know where this scene is. You know, she's looked at it her whole life. She hasn't got a clue where it is. Well, she's probably got a clue. She's adamant that it's not in Paris. Okay, that's all she thinks she knows, but wouldn't it be great if I could finally put this to bed for Raphael's great aunt and give her peace of mind uh, so that she could finally find out where this scene was painted and maybe she can go and visit there. Wouldn't that be lovely? I've got a couple of others lined up. Um, the next one, which will be much harder, is of a World War II soldier in the Alps. I'm pretty sure it's the Alps. And that would be incredible if I could find that. But I'm not quite ready to go for that just yet. I'm a bit out of practice. Um, so I'm going to go for this first. So yeah, that's the idea behind these new special Geo Detectives. Uh, I'm naming them. And without any further ado, let's get cracking with this. Just close these tabs. I will be coming back, by the way, to uh, Hugo Dudesworthy, who I just took one look at and thought, that's going to be very hard. So I'll come back to that and Josh Jerry Janulus, which I can't quite remember. But yeah, I'll be coming back to those so that we can focus our efforts on this. There it is, if, if you couldn't see the bottom left corner um, to begin with. There's a boat there. Looks pretty damn old. Uh, I think it's safe to say, judging by what these people are dressed in, that this is pretty damn old. I mean, it's pre-1900, isn't it? It's got to be. It's got to be... These are Victorian, um, if it were in Britain, which it's not. Now, the only bit of information we have is that it's apparently not in Paris. Now, I don't want to, you know, argue with your great-aunt, Raphael, but we've got to consider that it might be in Paris, because... That would be my first, I mean, if I didn't have that information, I'd be 70% sure that this was in Paris in like 1896, you know, something like that. Um, oh God, what if this isn't a real place? <laughs> no, oh God, is that possible? I'm not too clued up on art and how artists operate, but surely they wouldn't just make a place up, would they, like that? Surely they'd, they'd need that inspiration. Not necessarily need it, but want to paint somewhere real. Bit of both. Bit of both. Okay, we've got to run off the assumption that this is a real place. Um, and if, if we still haven't found it in hours, 
then we'd probably give up anyway. That is going to make it, that little niggle in my brain though is going to make it, I need to find willpower when I'm searching and just just block that out. Anyway, the, the time that it was done doesn't really matter too much. I don't think it will be any earlier than 1850. I wouldn't have thought, whatever this city is, I wouldn't have thought that they would have demolished these buildings. See, th this is a key thing now. This is what makes this tricky and potentially impossible, um, but carrying greater reward, is that, yes, yeah, so, like that might have been demolished, that might have been demolished, making this, I mean, I don't see how I would do it really, but we've got the bridge, we've got the, you know those buildings there, but for me, these side buildings are more likely to have been demolished than the two grand ones. Okay, getting to it then. I've already got Google Earth open here. And I won't search Paris first, but what I will search then is Lyon. Because I know there's a big river in Lyon, I believe it's the Rhone, and it is kind of bluey as well. And I think the one in Paris is less of a sky blue shade, so that's adding up. It does split off into, you know, different, not tributaries, but it splits off at times, the Rhone in Lyon, which it kind of looks like it might be doing here. And yeah, the buildings look fairly Lyon too. I'm going to stop rambling then, get in there, and we'll try Lyon. Okay, so, okay, it doesn't really, uh, no, it only splits off down there. I was kind of wrong about that. Maybe I was wrong about the river colour as well. Um, okay, well let's, I don't know, let's... God, this is this is a great adventure. Um, this is a great new challenge for me. Okay, is the river bending, is it splitting off or is it just bending round so that everything from this point on here is to the right of the river? That would make sense. We've also got the sun in that direction. That's interesting. The sun is down there. So presumably that is south. Look, you can see all the shadows. So it depends what time of day it is, but roughly we can say that the river is heading south. And I presume the river is heading down there and not there. Yeah, there's such a big gap there. That's the river, okay? So river heading south, um, I'm just going to start putting the man down in various places, see what bridges we can find. It's obviously an old bridge, wouldn't have been demolished, I wouldn't have thought. But there might be, there will be a lot of speeding up in this video, no doubt. This could be a total wild goose chase, it really could. Um, and I'm already starting to think that Leon is a shit idea. That's more of the old style bridge we want. But clearly this one has, well, we can see three arches. We don't know what's to the left of that. There might be a platform in the middle, then it carries on. We, we can't tell how wide this river is. People are quite dark skinned, it seems. Look, they, well, they, I mean, <laughs> they're red skinned. But maybe that's, maybe there's something there. Maybe they're Italian, you know, like, could this be Milan? Could this be Milan? What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to just get out of Leon for now because it's quite a tenuous attempt. I'm going to jump to Milan, another fashion capital, another city that would have, because there wouldn't have been many cities at this time frame. I'm guessing this is in the 1800s, late 1800s, that would have being this well off and affluent and fashion mad. You're only talking really, I mean, I might be wrong here, but Paris, Milan, uh, Barcelona maybe, London. I just don't know that there'd be many more cities with quite that level of fashion. And of course, we're going off the idea that this is a real place bloody better be a real place and a real scene. So over to Milan. 
Is there a river big enough to be this river? Let's find out. I don't remember one when I was there. No, <clears throat> there is not. No, there just isn't. Uh, and it can't be Venice. Venice would be perhaps another place, but it can't be Venice. Despite that ship reminding me of Venice. Could it be Marseille? I'm just going to scoot around a few cities to do a sort of surface level check. Rome is, is without doubt a possibility. And that river looks, looks more like it, doesn't it? Look at these. Look at these bridges. Let's check it out. It's too far down though, that river. No, deciding against Rome. I think, of course, we're going to come back to Paris without a shadow of a doubt. Um, now, I don't really know the history. And, of course, I will start Googling in a, in a bit as well. Most fashionable cities in 1896, right? Or 1900 or 1890. And that might open our eyes to some cities that I didn't realise were options. I don't know, Wren. Who knows? Brussels, maybe. Um, most fashionable cities in 1890. 1890s in Western fashion. I'll tell you what we could do. We could even try and find out what some of these are. Some of these styles. The men are wearing bowler hats, it seems. Or this guy is. And the women... Oh, they're just wearing such colourful dresses. When were bowler hats popular? 1890s Paris painting. I hope we don't find our painting here. That would totally ruin it. I just want to see if I can find, you know, the fashion. Like, look at that. See, that's a bit more chilled. The, the fashion is not quite so extreme as that. Is this just some sort of fantasy world? Just like some really romantic idea of how people dressed? Or is that just a poorer bit of town? Very, very likely. Um, okay, I've got an idea. Most fashionable district of Paris. 1900. Is there an area that was particularly hot on fashion and wealthy? His shop at 7 Rue de la Paix helped make that street the centre of fashion in Paris by 1900. Okay, Rue de la Paix. Let's just go there. Let's do it. I'm loving the challenge of this and I'm loving the idea that I could get there in a really interesting way. So Rue de la Paix, that's not near the river. Do you know what? I'm just going to start looking, man. I'm going to, like, look. The Seine. The Seine. I'm going to call it the Seine. I think that's how you say it. The Seine does break up into smaller bits and this is looking really tantalising. I'm going to put the man down here. It even looks like we've got a three-arched bridge there. That looks really promising, to be honest. Let's get him down. No, we're lower down. Yeah. Load of hype over nothing, that was. Uh, the Seine, just like the Tiber, is lower down. Got to be around this area as well, really can't see it being anywhere else in Paris. It's too central, don't you think? I'm starting to think that Raphael's great aunt is bang on the money. Just doesn't look like uh, the river is the Seine because of how high up it is. It looks pretty low down even then. And why wouldn't it be? You don't want it to flood, do you, really? You can see the bridges look a much higher up. 
So unless the river was really high and flooding, I think that's unlikely. Okay, so not Paris. The four mighty pillars of the fashion industry, Paris, Milan, London and New York, have long been considered the fashion capitals of the world. Well, it's not New York, 100%. I don't think it's London. No. We're starting to think it's not Paris and it's definitely not Milan. So, um, I'm just going to have a, a another little look at some other cities. Let's go to Brussels. No, I, I, I refuse to look in Germany for now. I just don't think they were as... I don't think Germans dressed like that, did they? And they weren't the, they weren't the wealth power that they became, you know, from 1900 sort of onwards. I don't think they were... That's a city that's been, you know, made rich from an empire, surely years, centuries of wealth. I don't know. Could be talking out my ass. Could somewhere like Wren, you know, uh, Bordeaux, perhaps? Oh, that's a huge, huge river. Let's go to Vienna or Salz, could it be Salzburg? Don't think it's Salzburg. Let's try Vienna though. Obviously it's not the, the Danube uh, in its proper form, but it could be this, the the new Danube, although that is much lower down again. I'm going to try Florence now. Wealthy historic cities. It's not Florence, is it? Which leaves us in a position now where I'm thinking, I just don't know if this is a real city. Do a bit more googling then. Back to googling, back and forth. Um, early nineteenth century fashion. Early. No, no way. Um, maybe it's later, but I, there's no cars or anything. Nineteen twenties fashion, Paris. No, that's so obviously later, isn't it? So obviously. 1870s. That's closer. Just lots of colours, big dresses. I mean, some of these people look exquisite. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they really do look a million bucks for, for a blurry blob. The colours are just so striking. I mean, it's just a good painting, isn't it? But um, yeah, great painting, by the way, Raphael's Nan. A great aunt. This building, Cafe du Dome, is a bit too tall, but it is on the banks of the Seine. List of domes in France. Why not? That wasn't by the river in the end, but it's a similar sort of building. Well, that ain't on there and similar ones of that size kind of are you know like buildings like this that some of these are really quite small you know that's not that big that would make it on there if it was a real building that's my that's what I'm starting to think now Okay, I think I'm getting to the point now, having googled copper domes and searched every city that I feasibly think this could be, where I think this might be a made up scene. I think this person has invented this idyllic city scene, Paris-esque, but not actually in Paris. Um, for a number of reasons, you know, the river being too high, river being too blue, arguably, um, and just frankly nowhere that really adds up to this 
building wise uh, including this building here now I do I am aware that I said earlier that these buildings could have been demolished that is very true but I just doubt I doubt it yeah no I'm I'm making that call so that is my call I'm sticking with that so what we do now is we try and find this painting and find out who painted it and hopefully whether or not I'm right I don't know if I'll even be able to find this I doubt I will actually so this could be a rather damp ending in fact I probably wouldn't even upload it but here we go let's try and find out and see if I was right let's see if this was a, a made up place I'm gonna say it's made up but it's inspired heavily by Paris uh, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say. Might have to try that Google image search. How to... the hell is going on here? They're all picture frames that have come up from this. Crop. There you go. That's what you want. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think anything similar is coming up here. It doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't exist, but I'm really starting to think that that is the case. The last vetting process of course will be you guys surely one of you can tell me if you know that this is a place and hopefully that comment will be upvoted to the point where I have to check I have to get in there and find it and uh, I'll include that at the start of the next geodetective video but I have a feeling and I'm hoping I won't lie that None of you will have a, a, a proper answer for this and that we can all conclude that this isn't a real place. Well, that is it, guys. I know that's a really disappointing, underwhelming ending to this video, but I guess that's the fun of it. You never quite know what the outcome is going to be. And I think when I do crack one of these, it'll be even more sweeter. But I've concluded that this place... I hope I'm wrong in a way, but I think it's a romantic, exaggerated, idealistic view of what Paris or a similar city might look like. I can't find any other paintings on Google where so many women are dressed in such striking, colourful dresses. I mean, every gal on this picture is dressed like she's going to Ascot, you know. And the building, I can't find that. I feel like I would have found that. The only similar building was the Dome Cafe, which is away from the river. Um, maybe we, we aren't in Paris. Maybe we are in Paris, but the river level has been raised by the artist. But I am going with no. That is not the case. This is a, a, a made-up place, no doubt influenced by real places. And Raphael, I'm afraid you're going to have to tell your great aunt that this isn't a real place she's been looking at for years. Um, yeah, I hope I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I've only spent a couple of hours on it, so I might, I might well be wrong. Um, and I am definitely a bit rusty, but that is my final word. And as I said earlier, please give me your comments. Let me know if you think you know this place um, or if you think it is made up be proactive if you see a comment that sounds like it might be true someone's quite sure about themselves and it sounds right google it and then if they're right like the comment and then I'll be I'll be able to see that then that's probably the best way to deal with any situation like this but hopefully we don't get many more like this where it ends so underwhelmingly um, but for now, that's how we're leaving it. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you all very soon for another one of these. Take it easy.